Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you 10 of the best productivity apps for iPhone and these apps are going to help you save time, be more productive as a business owner or be productive as just anybody else. You don't have to own a business to be productive with these apps. Um, I'm going to show you things that will help you with storing things, uh, creating better to-do lists, um, automation, social media, all kinds of stuff. So the first one is Evernote. And Evernote is, in my opinion, by far the best note-taking and thought um, organizing apps out there. So if you want to check out Evernote, this is what it looks like and it basically lets you take notes in any way you could possibly imagine so you can save images save videos save audios record um, use bullet points use different types of um, note-taking lists um, you can number them you can use bullet points you can do um, like I said you can do take photos you can draw you can take notes in so many different ways you can organize them in all these different notebooks and it's all free to start using so Evernote is something you'll hear about a lot from top business owners um, and it's definitely something that you will not regret trying out so if you take any kind of notes if you're an entrepreneur or you're just someone who has a lot of ideas and a lot of thoughts on your mind this is a perfect app for you Number two is Google Drive, and the great thing about Google Drive is it's like a free version of um, Microsoft Office, but it's also cloud services as well. So you get free cloud services, you get slide presentations you can create, you can create Excel spreadsheets, you can create um, Word documents, you can save PDFs. You can do all these different things all on your phone using Google Drive. So, and it's free. You uh, all you have to do is have a Gmail email, which is free to create. It takes like five minutes. So, if you have a Gmail account, um, you can download Google Drive and you get a lot of storage for free. And you can just go through. Um, you know, you can create, you can keep track of your workouts, you can keep track of your business stuff, you can keep track of all kinds of things, you can create presentations, you can do all this stuff on your phone, and if something happens to your phone, if something happens to your computer, you can still access it from any device by logging in, so you never lose it. So it's a, by far one of the best productivity tools you can get. Number three is Workflow. Workflow is really cool because it can actually automate some of the things you repeatedly do on your iPhone. So you can go through and check it out. This is what it looks like. Um, you can teach it how to automatically do a uh, call an Uber, um, do calculations, um, do all kinds of stuff, make things on your calendar, upload a photo to Dropbox. Um, do something on social media. It's like an automation app for your phone. And it's $2.99, but it's cheap. It's something that you definitely won't regret getting. Um, it's one of the best of 2015 and one of the best 2015 app design award winners. Um, it's definitely something that will save you a lot of time just through automation of things you do on your phone all the time. Number four is Forest, and this is a very creative one because it kind of makes a game out of helping you manage your time better. It's a dollar ninety nine. It's cheap, but it allows you to basically you plant trees in like your own little forest. Like I said, it's kind of a game with a combination of productivity because it has to do with managing your. Um, your time and how you are dividing it up. So if you end up spending too much time on things you're not supposed to be doing on your phone, like maybe you're spending too much time on social media or on games or something and not on work, studying, uh, rest, things like that, it will actually affect 
your trees in your forest. And when you plant these trees, you have to keep them alive by actually managing your time properly and spending time on the things you do. So it's kind of a game while making you more productive and giving you something to kind of, um, you know, kind of like a tree to keep alive, even though it's not real. It's something that actually can work. If you read the reviews, you'll be amazed by how many people actually um, have gotten a really good experience out of, out of this. I mean, I've hardly seen any bad reviews at all. It's got almost a five-star rating. So definitely try out Forest. It'll help you stay focused. It'll help you stay present. It'll help you get the most out of your time. Number five is Microsoft Outlook. So we all have email, whether we use it for personal reasons, for business, for work, for family, whatever it is. Email is kind of hard to keep organized because we're constantly having to opt in to um, websites to make our accounts. We're constantly having to send emails to coworkers and to employees. Um, it's hard to keep track of everything just with a stock email app. So Microsoft Outlook is one of the best for organizing your email. You know, Microsoft, this is one of their biggest uh, flagship products. Um, as far as all the Microsoft Office tools that they give out, this is probably by far the most popular because email is such a big part of everyone's lives now and it helps you just organize everything better, send emails easier, um, keep track of what's going on, um, keep track of messages, keep conversations going, scheduling, all kinds of stuff can be done just with this one email app. So this is by far one of the best email apps you can get. It's one of the most credible. It's been around probably the longest. So you know it's going to be done well. Number six is I translate voice. Now this is really cool if you need to uh, work with people that might not speak your native language very well, if you go out of the country pretty often, if you, uh, you know, or even if you just have personal friends or something that um, you want to learn their language better or help communication between each other better, or if you even want to learn a language, tr I translate voice really takes care of all that stuff. It is ten dollars so it's not one of the cheapest apps in the world but the payoff is so huge and if you look at the ratings it's got four and a half stars out of 888 ratings on the current version. On all versions it's got four stars out of 14, over 14,000 ratings. So right now the current version is extremely popular for this app. Um, you'll notice that it gets better with time but um, it allows you to talk into your phone and it will translate everything into text in all these different languages for you. So you can do over 40 different languages and it's like you're instantly speaking it without actually having to go through a Rosetta Stone or some other thing to actually learn it in six months or years or however long it would take. It automatically turns it into the right language with your phone and you don't have to do anything else. So it's definitely one of the best translator apps you can do and you can actually keep track of your most used phrases in your phrase book and um, it just does all kinds of things. I think it even has an offline mode if you're kind of out of range of your cell service. So they really cover everything with this. It even has a dictionary so I would definitely recommend if you have anything to do with multi-languages, um, iTranslate Voice is the way to go. Number seven is Paper. Paper is an app I found really useful because it allows you to take notes in your own way but it also allows you to do diagrams and sketches. So Evernote is one of the best note-taking and notebook style apps I've ever seen, probably the best, but paper is not necessarily a competitor of Evernote. It's note-taking is just one part of what they do, but it's really more like a digital um, paper is what it is. That's why it's called paper, of course, because you can sketch, you can do diagrams, you can take notes, 
do everything you would do with a piece of paper without having to carry around a stack of uh, notebooks and a pencil with you. So you can do all these things, take notes, save them, um, all on an app here that is really cool, really well designed, and has great ratings. So if you want to kind of look through this, it's called Paper on the App Store. Um, you can do to-do lists, you can draw, you can edit, you can do anything you could do on paper and probably more actually. So I would definitely try that out if you're just more into paper than you are like typing and you know things like that as far as how you like to think, how you like to take notes and stuff like that. Number eight is Clear. Clear is a cool app because it allows you to kind of declutter your life. It allows you to keep track of your to-do list better. It's a much better, much smarter version of a to-do list. It gives you notifications to actually make you remember that you need to do these things. It helps you organize them based on priority prioritization so you do the most important things first helps you schedule things so you get done by deadlines when you need to. It helps you keep lists if you're going to the grocery store. It helps you follow up with people. It really just helps. It's like a little personal assistant in a way. And it just reminds you to do these things. It's hard to remember everything on your own. and It's hard to keep your priorities straight without something like this. And this is one of the best in the business for it. So it's five dollars but it can change your life completely and the time it will save you and the productivity you will get done you will earn that back and much more as you use it so I would definitely recommend clear nine is Hootsuite so if you do anything on social media Hootsuite might be the app for you because it allows you to schedule posts on sites like Twitter and Instagram where you probably post pretty often images text videos whatever it may be you can also schedule on LinkedIn Facebook and much more there's a lot of apps that you can add on to it um, it's got four and a half stars it's definitely a popular app they're one of the most popular social media services out there it's a free app so that's great too um, and it allows you to schedule posts so you don't have to do it in real time when you're busy it allows you to schedule posts in multiple networks at one time, which is also nice, if, so you don't have to rewrite it and repost it every time. Um, you can do mass scheduling. You can schedule just one day or week at a time, whatever what you want to do. You can also use it as a social media dashboard to bring all your social media messages and news feeds into one place which is very nice because it's hard to just go from Facebook apps to Twitter apps to Instagram apps just to check everything that's going on. In other words, you can have all that in one place in one dashboard. You can have all your personal messages in all in one place, one dashboard with Hootsuite. So all this is a free uh, app. You can also get you know premium versions if you need it, but you probably won't need it. So. I definitely recommend Hootsuite for all things social media and productivity related. Number 10, last but not least, is Pocket. Pocket is something I found really useful because um, when you're on the go, when you're always working, when you're always going places, um, you don't have time to read all the blog posts, all the articles, all the news that you want to read. And this allows you to just save even videos and images and you can even save parts of articles full articles it allows you to save any form of content really on the internet so that you can access it from your phone when you're on the go and you actually have a few spare minutes it's a free app it, you, all you have to do is create your account and it can be signed in it, it's not something you can ever lose because if something happens to your phone, something happens to your computer, you can always log back in from another device. It's called Pocket. It allows you to save articles and videos to view later. It's very simple. It's very well designed. It's very clean. It's very easy to manage. Um, and you can, as soon as you're done reading or watching a video, you can just, you know, 
say you're done with it and then it'll get rid of it and you can recover it later on if you need to but you can save the ones for later you can save some to your favorites list if you want to go back and read it again or something you can uh, say you're done with it and it'll check it off and delete it from your list it'll recommend other ones that you might like based on you know categories and the types of content that you usually read or watch so it's just very nice overall to help you consume the information and the uh, content that you're constantly wanting to consume but allows you to delay it and um, keep everything um, going on your own time so you don't have to you know read it wide, right away and worry about losing uh, the URL so you can't find it later so it just organizes all content and helps you do it and it has a five star rating I mean that's hard to go, that's hard to go wrong with so I would definitely recommend pocket for all things just keeping up with and organizing your content that you want to consume later on so if you got something from this video if you feel like you learned about some apps you didn't already know about and you think they're gonna help you uh, please like and subscribe so I can bring you more videos like this and show you some other really cool resources you can use um, if you want to let me know about some other apps you think be belong on this list that I didn't mention or let me know what you thought about the video let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and if you want to contact me directly if you want to get more in-depth blog posts on this type of stuff uh, if you want to get some courses on how to um, be more productive and things like that and do it step by step you can go to selfmadesuccess.com and other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.